Hello everyone and welcome back to Power Playground. This is a much belated update video and I want to go ahead and show you off my new project. Now first off, I wanted to uh, show off the workshop. It has come a long way since my last couple of videos here. So yep, just been doing a lot of cool projects here. What I'm about to show you all on the tool wall. Got some more tools and stuff. Everything's messy still. And this, uh, this room is a work in progress. Don't know what I'm going to do with it exactly still, uh, but let me go ahead and show you what I have in store for you all. Sorry about the furnace noise, if you can hear that. Now, this right here is my brand new laser cutter. It is a, um, the full dimensions is a 1500 millimeter by 1500 millimeter laser cutter here. So it will, uh, it'll do roughly, uh, just around about five square feet, or actually a little bit more than that. It's be about five foot by five foot. I just got it working tonight. Did a uh, for my first test print, or it's not print. It is a cut, which is a uh, one square centimeter little cube here, or sorry, square. Since we're doing two dimensions in a laser cutter, it has a uh, 15 watt Chinese laser. I might switch to a CO2 system, which will be able to do more powerful uh, laser cutting here in the future. Which, unfortunately, I've researched. I don't think this might this might not be a 15 watt. It's kind of hard to tell a lot of them are uh, like 8 watt or like 1.5 watts even a lot of trickery going on here made a, a custom this is just an old Dell computer I got from a family member and um, it is just running Linux Mint for right now and laser web software I'll be going over this machine here in another video just the uh, particulars once I get everything or get acquainted with it because I just figured out how to use the stinking software and that was the biggest pain and the whole uh, thing, everything else is pretty much second nature, pretty similar to 3D printing, except for the G code's a little bit different. And of course, I have the uh, printers. Let's oh, let's boost our exposure up because not a whole lot. I don't have too much light in here, unfortunately. There we go. So the power bot, still working on it. Uh, there's a few things I had to fix. Mm, mainly, I was the last issue I had was a jam, but it's pretty much buttoned up for the most part I had to do some minor alterations to it as you can see there are some uh, linear rods I don't know how well it's gonna come out in the video I'll try to brighten it up a little bit in post but there are three uh, LM8 or eight millimeter rods with LM8 U, U bearings or whatever however you say it. I'll put on the screen and of course flash forward still soldiering on that's uh, that's actually the same PEI sheet I put on there initially it's still going strong like after two plus years so I need to replace it soon though it's getting pretty rugged and of course I now have a Raspberry Pi which has an octo print setup I might do a video on that I don't know there's tons of videos on that already um, speaking of which I do want to give you all a bit of an update what I plan on doing with this channel let me turn down the exposure a little bit with the latest creators update I want to push out different types of content beyond just technology and 3d printing so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be posting a bunch more videos here. I was going to do another channel, but since, of course, they have that whole update with the modization and whatnot, I kind of want to keep it all on one channel for now. I may branch it off eventually in the future, but of course, uh, due to my sparse update, uploading schedule here, it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So I may uh, tick off a few people, but of course, I, st I will be producing more videos, especially on this laser cutter now that it's finished up here. There's uh, a lot that went into it. It's not really like a particular kit. Like I, it's, I bought the Open Builds Acro kit, which is the, uh, of course, the gantry system, and not much else really. I had, of course, it came with the logic board and some of the wiring, but of course, I do a lot of DIY wiring myself. And the laser diode, of course, I had to source that myself. And the frame was a uh, my own design here. So I'll be going over that here in a separate video and uploading the uh, files for that as well as creating some other cool tutorials. We made a cool jig system to make these braces, so I'll show you all how that I did that. So that's gonna be about it for the laser cutter for now here. And I'm gonna go do another test cut here now that I have the first one done. Pretty freaking amazing. I think I, I ordered the machine like late November, around Thanksgiving, and um, received the parts pretty quickly actually. That's This came in like a week, like 10 days from China, which is freaking crazy for e-packet. 
Now you all may be wondering what this other content is I'm talking about. I'm going to be doing some financial stuff, some like life, life advice type stuff, as well as some other hobbies I have. Might do some like photography things and some other weird things, whatever the whatever I can do. Maybe some like biking. Um, might even do some audio videos too because I am uh, I do, did get a new speaker set up and kind of want to review that and show you all it here as well as just show some budget audio setup. So I hope you all like the direction this uh, channel is going to go in here. And oh, also almost forgot to mention here, holy crap, I did not expect I would get a thousand subscribers, especially with not uploading since like what, June or July, some ridiculous amount of time. But I have a thousand subscribers. That is crazy. I want to thank you all here. And um, yeah, it's super cool that so many people are interested in my videos. Of course, yeah, like I said, I do want to upload more content. I've been so freaking busy with my business and getting that up and running, which it is, uh, it's going really good and it's uh, going to be growing pretty crazily here this year. So, but of course, just want to start cranking out more videos here and uh, helping people out. Just love posting all sorts of cool guides and projects that I'm doing here because there's, like, there is no shortage of projects I've been uh, doing here lately. So, just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, have a great day. Subscribe if you like this. Like like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. And um, that's really about it. Check some other related videos or something. <laughs> and uh, peace.